so it's been a while since I've done a video like this well where I'm actually shown on camera but today I have decided that I'm going to give you just a small tour of um, like what's on my desk so like what kind of stationery and that's where like I keep all of my like most used stuff and some of my extra washi tapes that I have so yeah also I am thinking of doing another wish review soon if you haven't heard I guess I think I mentioned it in my last video but let me know down in the comments if you would like to see another one of those but yeah without further ado let's just get on with all the right, video so now before we officially start I just want to let you guys know that by stationary tour or like desk tour I just meant like this area here because that's where all my stationery is but yeah let's just go okay so first let's just move on this way and we can take a look at my wall so here I have my highlighters and I've also got all of my erasable pens over here and some other highlighters that are used more often and moving down we have oh my cords here Whoops. okay yeah anyway so as I said moving down um, so on the top compartment here I have I used to have more in here but I took them out and I put them in a stationary organizer this way but we'll get to that later um, so in here right now I have my journaling pens I have my one Tombow brush pen which I was going to do like a vacation stationary haul but I ended up not doing it so here just for those who like to look at stationary here's my one and only Tombow brush pen um, I also have some other mini sew pens and I got a jelly roll pen which is really nice and I have just some other random brush pens that I didn't really have like a designated specific place that I want to put them and then I just put some flower wash tape around the jar here and then we have just my sharpener tape and we have more erasable pens scissors pencils, sharpies, all that kind of stuff. And um, then we have some scrap or blank paper. So this is like line paper that has writing on it or like some of it's like glue paper. And then I also have like these kind of paper which are sheets that like I kind of messed up in my journal like that were too bad to actually fix. So now I just use them like to test bleeding like if the marker is going to bleed through the page whether I need to double sided tape the two together. I've also got some drawing paper and then down at the very bottom I have my paper cutter and then I've got under here even though you can't see it I've got my lined in graph paper okay so in this next and final part over here I know this video was kind of short so sorry about that but we're just gonna have to deal with that I'm just gonna move this off anyway so in this first case whoops right here I have in the bottom my sticker flakes and then I have some smaller sh sticker sheets and finally in the top I have my smaller washi tape and my new ones that I couldn't fit in my other container and then in my final case I have all of my mild liners in the top and then I have just some kind of like fine liners or other brush pens from mini so in the bottom but yeah, I think that's pretty much most of the stationery from like on top of my desk here. There is some in my desk, but I'm not going to show you guys that right now because it's probably kind of messy anyway. So yeah, it's just these two down here. But anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed looking at all of my wonderful stationery. I know I've got like probably way too much, but you know, I use it all. Well, pretty much most of it. Uh, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like if you want to see more videos like this or if you want to see like all of my washi tape that is inside my desk because I do kind of have a lot. Uh, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye!